Hey guys, uh, I'm back with the JavaScript framework. Um, as surprising as this may sound, a uh, programmer making a mistake, um, yes. So uh, I want to go back to the framework.js and inside of there, whenever we got our mouse position inside of the document element on mouse move, I used client with, which uh, was a mistake. I should have used the client x and the uh, client y on there. Um, because if you use the client width, you would have found uh, that it would have been undefined, um, which is bad. So uh, change that to the client x and the client y. Uh, you don't have this line. I, I'm just using it to show you. Uh, so now, oh, sorry, spelled it wrong. So now we have our X positions. Um, and you can see my Rex turning blue, but uh, that's because it's not using offset. Um, so what this rect is supposed to be doing is when my mouse goes inside of it, it turns blue, um, which is fairly simple. I can show you it's, I can show you, I guess this will uh, not just be a fixed video, but it'll also be an example video. So. Let me uh, go over here, and uh, I'm going to keep that debug, just so that there is an offset. So all I'm doing here is I'm declaring a rectangle, I'm setting its color to red, and I'm saying if the rectangle uh, contains the input mouse X and input mouse Y, then change it to blue, otherwise keep it as red. So you can see that the offset is off um, because of this re this text box up here my canvas is now not at the top left which means that unfortunately my rectangle is messed up uh, in hovering and we can uh, further push that idea by adding a box around our canvas let's just say style um, uh, border 1px solid black Let's go back here. Now you can see our offset is uh, quite a bit. It's this whole top part, which shows you that is the uh, distance that we need to offset it inside of our uh, our uh, input dot offset. If you recall us having that, um, so inside of our input offset here, uh, if you recall this here offset, we have it already set up to already subtract what the offset is. So in this case, it, we're minusing the offset. So if we minus the offset, that means that uh, it's going to uh, subtract. Uh, so if, if um, my cursor is here at the I, uh, and that's, let's just say this is the offset to get to this text input. Um, the math is, if I'm over here and it's at like 50, I want it to really be at 0 because that's where it starts. So the input.offset will be set inside of our main JS. All we have to do is after we get our canvas element and set its width, height, style, width, and height, um, we get the offset from the page. So uh, what we want to do is go back into our framework. Let's go all the way to the top because I like this to be at the top. And before our arrays, we're going to add a function called get left. And we're going to pass in an element. Um, if you may have guessed, we're also going to add another function called get top. So we're just going to use the built in JavaScript to get and return the top and the left of uh, where this element is on the page. So if I said var left is equal to elm dot offset left, um, then I can say while elm is equal to elm dot parent, uh, sorry, offset parent, then uh, I could say left plus equals elm dot offset left. 
Um, so it's going to iterate through the parents left, or each one of the parents, until it says null. And it's going to set the element equal to that element. And it's going to add that to this left um, amount, each one of its offset lefts. So uh, then something <coughs> I like to do, uh, because what if our canvas is further down the page and there's scroll bars uh, like this one here? Uh, we then we got to modify the zero zero because if I scroll down to let's say array is at here at like 500 and then I scroll down to it it's now at zero so we want to take in the scroll bars uh, so we want to do this last part before we turn return left we want to say left minus equals window dot page x offset and then we can return left and uh, we can pretty much do the same exact thing for get top so just copy and paste it and call it top um, and replace all the lefts with tops uh, replace page x offset with page y offset and offset left with offset top uh, and this one too um, I believe that's all the changes I need to make so now we can get the left and the top of the element. So instead of back inside of our main.js, we want to say input dot offset um, equals new vector vector two, and we want to pass in get left canvas. Um, yeah, and get top canvas. It's been a while since I did, have done this, so uh, let's cross our fingers and hope that it works. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, refresh. Uh, and there we go. We can see that the offset has been added, and now the rect only turns blue and my mouse is inside of it. So that's how we're going to say the uh, page offset. And uh, put it inside of the canvas so that our programs work correctly. I'm sorry for that mistake in the beginning. Um, so uh, that's a little bit of gameplay mechanics. I'm going to go over more later on, uh, making a bunch of other videos um, for other stuff. So I'm trying to keep all of them up to date. So uh, thanks for watching.